dun, dun. Hello, YouTube. Yes, it's me. And we're back. How are you? I hope you're all doing good. Um, if you're new here, hi. My name is Haley, and we talk about everything merchant seaman, merchant mariner, however, whatever you want to call it. I like to call it merchant seaman. But, anyways, hi. Welcome. Please like, subscribe, comment. Don't comment anything weird or mean because we don't do mean over here. We're nice. Sometimes. Anyways, how are you doing? I hope everything's good. A couple new things that's going on with me. I am now offering a subscription to my Instagram page, which is awesome. It's where anybody interested in becoming a merchant mariner, anybody that's interested in getting hired with the military seal of command, mouthful i am giving y'all a more in depth is that the right word i think that's the right term the more in depth deep dive into exactly what to say on the military seal of commands application to get hired um so you are 95 percent going to get hired with the military seal of command if you follow exactly what i tell you on my Instagram subscription, okay? I'm not gonna give y'all too much, but we're doing good things over there on my page. So go subscribe at lady.trill on Instagram. There's some good stuff going on over there. Okay, another thing. I got shirts for sale. Yes, I do. I got shirts, MSC shirts with Poseidon on the back hot stuff and then we also have the women empowerment shirt with the same msd logo uh-huh yes she's a bad i almost said the cuss word youtube doesn't like that i'm not gonna cuss but i am a sailor so it's hard not to but isn't she fabulous you guys like uh women can do it too i mean men can even wear this shirt just show some love but you guys so Excuse me. As you can tell from the title of this video, I am going to be talking about a few things that has happened to me in the beginning of my military seal of command career. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a little disclaimer. This is my experience. This isn't, you know, I'm not saying that this is going to happen to you guys. I'm just telling a story of what happened to me, you know? I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. We are all adults here and we can make our own adult decisions on how to live our lives. Okay. So just putting it out there, disclaimer, I'm not trying to tear you from joining the union. I'm not trying to do anything like that. So if anybody comes after me in the comments, if anybody tries to email me some crazy-ish, I'm not going there. I'm just sharing my personal experience, okay? So now that we got that out the way, let's go ahead and jump into today's story, okay? Okay, so story time. Now, when I first got hired with the Military Seal of Command, I got hired on as a OS, an ordinary seaman. And ordinary seamen work out on deck doing deck stuff, you know, painting, chipping, whatever they do out there, okay? So, you know, I'm all excited. I got hired. You know, I'm just thankful to even get my foot in the door, okay? So, I go through the whole NEO process and then we start the training process. Now, during the first week at NEO, there is going to be a union rep, an SIU union rep. Yes, SIU is somewhat affiliated with the military seal of command, okay? So there will be a union rep there to hand you, you know, paperwork and ask you if you want to join the union, which, you know, I was always told if there's a union at your job, join it. Before I worked for MSC, Merchant Seaman, 
period. I worked at UPS and UPS is a union job for the Teamsters Union. And I was a part of that union and they really go to bat for you, okay? Like if something isn't right on your paycheck, if, if a manager is not treating you right or, you know, whatever, they will give you the paperwork, you file a grievance and, you know, they fight for you. So with that being said, I was really excited to join the union with MSC because I thought it would be the same way, which to a certain extent, it is that way, but you know, this is a government job. So it's like the US government SIU union. So it's kind of, it's weird. And you know, you could say what you want in my comments about it, but I'm just telling you how I feel in my experience. Anyways, so it's my first week in Neo and the union rep comes and he gives us the paperwork and I'm excited. I fill it out, you know, cool. I'm in the union woo um so then we actually go into starting to do the um the training for the job the small arms that's where you shoot you know the guns and you do target practices and everything like that so you know i am i'm not even embarrassed i'm not embarrassed i'm gonna tell you guys i failed i failed the small arms yep I'm not ashamed. It was my first time shooting a gun and I was a little scared. I'm not going to lie. Not like I'm just going out shooting guns for fun. I'm not one of those type of white people. No, we don't do that. Um, That was a bad joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I did not pass the small arms. And so, yeah, that's what happened. And then when I got back to... um the Norfolk office they were like you know you did not pass the small arms and I was like well you know could I please take it over because I feel that you know if I took it over I wouldn't be as nervous and I would pass they basically told me no they said no no you cannot have a second chance um either you take this demotion to SU or we're going to have to let you go. That's what they told me. And, you know, it's, I'm a new hire. I don't really understand what exactly, you know, the procedure is, but I knew that I joined um, the union and I knew, you know, how UPS used to handle stuff like this. So I went to my union rep and, you know, I told him what was going on, what was happening. And, you know, I understand that during this time it was right before the holidays cool i understood that but this was a situation that needed to be handled right now because i'm about to get fired i need somebody to represent me and sadly that was not met my call out for help was not met it was met with the answer of i'm going on vacation right now send me an email and i'll get back to you i'm just gonna let that sink in for a second <laughs> i'm about to get fired and you're telling me that you're you're going on vacation right now and there's nothing you can do but yet i'm sitting here paying my union dues every paycheck but i can't receive help mm -hmm. oh and that's not even like the end of the story so I ended up um, taking it in motion, which is okay. I mean, I enjoy my job. I enjoy working inside. I enjoy what I do. Um, yeah, so all in all, I wasn't a bad decision that had to be made. But <laughs> the icing on the cake was, y'all, so I took the demotion. I signed the paperwork, everything. With them doing all of this paperwork to demote me, they saw an error. The error was during my NEO training time, I was being overpaid. 
yes i was being overpaid so if you don't know how msc works um there's east coast pay and there's west coast pay they are slightly different in salaries so i was i am a east coast sailor i was getting paid west coast pay which is a little bit more as an east coast sailor so when they were doing this demotion they saw that i was being overpaid so now i am being demoted and i've also occurred a debt a debt and i'm reaching out to someone to represent me and still am being met with the response of i'm on vacation send it to my email and i'll get back to you no this needed to be addressed right now. I'm about to lose my job right now. And I owe money to the government right now. But anyways, you guys, <laughs> I just wanted to share this story. Um, it's not to deter you from joining SIU. SIU is a union. They fight for us. I just got sick and tired of dealing <laughs> with paying my union dues with this in the back of my mind where I, you know, wasn't helped. But by all means, like I said, we're all adults and we all, you know, have different journeys in life and I'm not deteriorating. I'm not trying to say don't join SIU. Okay? Just get that out the way. But anyways, like I said, I took the demotion and I just paid off the debt and I went about my business because I love this job. I wanted to keep my job and that's how that went, okay? But I'm just going to throw that out there, throw this out there real quick. If you ever, if you are currently in SIU union and you want to get out, let me just tell you that it's an interesting process to get out, okay? You have to email one of the union reps and get the paperwork. And then sometimes they'll even like give you the runaround, you know, trying to convince you to stay. But, you know, just hold your ground and tell them what's up and tell them why and tell, you know, and eventually they'll file it but <laughs> it's an interesting it's easy to join not so easy to get out but you could get out if you want to anyways you guys like i said earlier in this video if you are interested in getting a job with the military sea lift command i am doing a more in-depth videos about how to do the application process what to say on the application process so you are 95 percent going to get hired with the military seal of command and that is going to be over there on my instagram page under subscriptions all right and that's lady.tro on instagram and youtube and tiktok if you're interested in all platforms same name anyways have a great day